Hello, and welcome back to Oathbound Gaming. We're no longer a gaming channel. We are now a cooking channel. That's right. Sure, you're going to come here for your best recipes, trying new things, but today we're going to start with a very, very basic... It's going to be a burger. How to get a burger. How to get one. So, don't have hamburger buns here. So we're going to substitute it with white bread, right? And we don't have beef either. But we do have an egg, and since they come from the same animal, it's pretty much the same. So you want to get rid of one of your beef eggs, and you want to go ahead and just crack the crap out of it. You don't even care. Get some of the beef shells in there. Adds, adds protein. It's good for you. So you go ahead and crack your beef egg, right? Make a mess? Who cares? You ain't going to be the one to clean it up. So you go ahead, and, and you're going to just, just beat the crap. Out of your beef egg. Just, just. Yeah, yeah, look at that. There we go. Now that's good beef. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put our beef right onto the, right onto the bread. Looks so good, right? Ugh. <laughs> Can't wait to try this. Oh man, you're gonna, put, you're gonna put it right on. You're gonna put it right onto your your bread. Look at look at that. There we go. Just, just kind of just kind of just dip it in there. Then once it's all good and and beefed up, you're gonna. To sandwich these together, we're gonna go on over to to our cookery, uh, over to our oven. Ready? All right. All right. So once your beef egg has been fully cooked, it takes about two hours. You want to throw some stuff on. You can, you can customize it. Some people like pickles on their burger. I like pickles on my burger and it adds a nice crunch, but you guessed it, we don't have pickles, so we're gonna substitute with cookies instead. Still adds a nice crunch, very nutritious. So we're gonna go ahead and just break up our cookies and, and throw it on our on our burger. There we are. And really, really coat that thing with your with your pickles. It's looking good. And then me, I like to finish it all off with some cheese. But you guessed it, we're gonna have to substitute. What do we substitute with? Whipped cream, cheese is dairy, whipped cream's dairy. Pretty much the same thing, you know, cheese, whipped cream. Same thing really, so we're gonna go ahead and really get this thing on there. Just, just as much as you want, like really, really get it, really get it on there. Then we're gonna Go ahead and sandwich them together. And there's your burger. Of course, you want to take a nice big bite of this thing and... It's, it's so good. It's so, so good. That's, that's what I call a burger. Oh, man. So if you've been following my instructions, you probably realize that uh, you fucked up. <clears throat> oh man, oh. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> um, oh. So, here's what you want to do. You want to throw that right in the trash. You, you don't want to eat that. That's not, that's not good. Hi, how can I help you? Hi, can I get a large number two, please? Plain, just cheese. What's your? Uh, sweet tea. Anything else? That's it. Thank you. Well, this is a video on how to get a burger, not how to make a burger. Don't judge me. 
So if you follow my instructions, by now you probably have yourself a burger. This one happens to be from McDonald's. Not my main choice, but I must say they have gotten better over the years. And as a bonus, I also got fries. You can't beat that. You thought this was just about how to get a burger, but Yeah, fries with it too. So thank you very much for watching. I will catch you in the next video. Skidat! <coughs> oh, I think I'm gonna die. Oh, this was not worth it. Uh, happy April Fools. Uh, see you next year.